Hello. Welcome to the Quick Start Guide to the Giovanni Interface. The following slides will show you the main features of the Giovanni System web interface. Here is the Giovanni Interface main page. This is the first thing you will see when you go to giovanni.gsfc.nasa.gov. There are several fields that require information so that a visualization can be generated. Here are the five main components. The first field is the visualization selections. You can choose from the menus that drop down from each of the arrows. The second field is the time period selection. This is where you enter the beginning dates and end dates for the time period of interest. The third area is the region selection. This is where you will use a map or shape files to define the region you wish to study. The fourth component is the faceted search field. In this field, you can click on any of the topics and see all of the variable types listed under those topics. The final area is the keyword search, in which you can enter a word or several words that will allow you to search for the variables. Note that it is not necessary to use both the faceted search and keyword search fields. Here is an example of the visualization selection menu. In this case, the various map options are shown. There is the time average map, which looks like this, and several other choices such as animations, difference maps, or climatologies. Other options in the visualization selection are time series, such as that shown here, or scatter plots, such as the one shown here. The next field is the time period selection field. You can enter the dates as year and month and day for the begin date and end date. One option, if you choose a monthly variable before using the calendar, you will only see choices for the year and month. Here is the first option for the region of interest selection. This is a map that allows you to draw a rectangular area of interest with the cursor on your machine. You would click on the box that shows a rectangle and then with the cursor, define your area. The next option is to use shapefiles. If you click on show shapes, you will see the various options for shapefiles which include countries, U.S. states, and major watersheds. In this case, the small country of Monaco has been selected. This shows what can happen when you use the faceted variable search. If you click on altitude, you will get four options for the tropopause height. This shows the options that are found when you enter the keyword chlorophyll, as shown here. Chlorophyll is an oceanographic variable and data is available from the NASA Ocean Biogeochemical Model and sensors such as MODIS Aqua or CWIS. There are two important buttons that you need to know about. The first one is the green Plot Data button. When you have made all of the selections, then click on the Plot Data button to begin the generation of a Giovanni visualization. The other important button is the Feedback button. If an error is encountered in the processing, or if you simply have a question about a result you have made, click on the feedback button so you can send an email message to the GAS Disk Help Desk. This message will be forwarded to the Giovanni support team. It will also forward the information for the session that you are conducting. Thank you for watching this demonstration and enjoy your use of Giovanni.